back to the channel and i hope you guys doing absolutely fine i got so many requests for this lab because this lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for the lab i will request you please pay attention over here because if you miss one single point then you are not able to complete the lab on your first attempt but don't worry i will explain each and every point in detail so first of all just me log in with your credentials and once done with that in the description box of this video i will share one github link just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here now just me scroll down open this url in incognito window it will activate your cloud shell meanwhile just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command this will download this github repo from my github to your cloud shell then we have to make this file executable for that we have to just me run this chmod command and for executing all the command we have to just me run this last command over here remember one more point in this particular lab we required our personal github account so if you don't have just me create one okay now just me copy all this command over here and now just me paste hit enter now we have to just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done we are done with the 50% of the lab after that we have to perform the task number 8 manually don't worry about that i will explain each and every point of that particular task in detail now just me wait and watch make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you are not able to come to the lab make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep so that your cloud shell in still running state so just me remember of that thing now this cluster is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes so just me wait to main aap se kuch mang sakta hu sach mujh mein ab main mangunga aur aap manenge nahi to manenge lekin agar karenge nahi to पक्का करेंगे एंड इज डन नाउ हेर यू कैन सी इट्स आस्किंग लाइक वॉट यू ऑप्शन यू हैव टू चूज सो जस्ट मे चूज गिटअप डॉट कॉम सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू जस्ट मे हिट एंटर बटन ओवर हियर ओके नाउ आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज पे अटेंशन ओवर हियर ओके जस्ट मे हिट एंटर बटन ओवर हियर लाइक दिस वे जस्ट मे चूज एस टी टी पी एस ओवर हियर नाउ हियर जस्ट मे प्रेस वाई एंड हिट एंटर अगेन लाइक दिस वे अगेन हिट एंटर बटन लाइक दिस now you don't have to do anything you can see this particular url over here just me click on this url now here we have to just me log in with our personal github account so this is my personal credential so i'm going to log in over here like this way if you have to way authentication and if you are doing for the first time it will ask for that also just me authorize yourself and once you do you will get this kind of activation now for this particular code just me come back over here and from here you can see this code just me copy this over here and paste like this way okay and then click on this continue simple now just me click on this authorize over here now let me just me increase the text size of this particular dashboard so that you can understand what i am going to do over here okay so let me just me increase the text size little bit okay so it's perfectly fine now now just me come over here click on this back arrow over here okay click on this hamburger and then click on this home button okay now what you have to check you have to just me check the repository for this particular thing you can see default repository in your personal github account if you are seeing this default repository okay just me click over here when you are able to see this when you have performed this lab multiple times at that time you are able to see this one okay now just me click on the settings over here and just me delete this repository okay if you are not able to see this repository no need to worry you can just me skip this part of the lab okay just me click on here and now just me delete this like this way and once you delete over here you will see this two repository or what are the repository that you have on your github account you just have to delete that default repository okay now once done with all these things then only come back over here and then just me click over here make sure that your dashboard must look like this okay if it not then you have done the mistake you just have to restart your lab okay now once you see this kind of dashboard after deleting the repository just me hit enter button over here now just me wait for this thing get complete it will take a couple of seconds so just me wait and is done now what we do we have to perform the task manually of the task number 8 before that just me click over here and then just me click on this preview on 8080 port okay over here zenkings will connect okay meanwhile just me come back to the lab instructions click on the task number 8 scroll down little bit so we have done with all this part okay we have done with all these commands now from here we have to done all the things manually don't worry this is a very easy task first of all just me come back over here click on the settings over here gear icon just me click over here now wait 
scroll down little bit and here you can see credentials just me click on this credentials over here then just me click on this system over here then click on this global credentials and then just me click on this add credentials like this way now from here just me choose you can see google service account from metadata just me choose this option now for the project id just me copy this project id and paste over here like this way and then just me click on this create so if we just me come back over here so you can see we have done with all this portion okay now just me scroll down now what you do we have to go to the notes for that just me come back over here again click on this manage anything over here scroll down and from here you can see cloud notes okay so make sure that we don't have to click on the notes we have to click on the clouds over here so just me click on this clouds over here like this way then click on this new clouds now for the name you can give any name i'm just me giving my name and then click on this kubernetes over here and then click on this create button now just me wait is done scroll down a little bit and from here you can see zenkings url for that just me scroll down copy this thing over here make sure that while copying anything from the library instructions do not copy any extra space otherwise you will face a error now just me copy this thing and paste over here like this way we are done with all this portion just me click on this save so if we just me come back over here so you can see we are done with this part also now what here do we have to generate a ssh key now please watch the video please see how i'm copying this particular thing so just me copy from this ssh till c and then copy this extra space also you can see i have copied this extra space also let me just me zoom in for you you can see i have just me copied this so just me copy that come back to your dashboard now paste over here and if i just me show you you can see there is one extra space now what we need we required our github email id for that come back to your repository click on your avatar then click on this settings over here and then click on this email and from here you will get this email id over here so just me copy this come back over here and paste hit enter so just me wait and it's done so we are done with this part also okay now what we need we have to add the ssh key first of all just me copy this key name copy that come back to your github repo then click on this ssh and gcp keys over here okay now if you are able to see the same name key you can see ssh underscore lab key just me click on this delete if you are not able to find it don't worry we just simply have to create if you are not able to find you will get this kind of interface now click on this new ssh key now paste the name over here like this way now for this key value what you do just me come back and from here you can see this lab id underscore github dot pub just me copy this id underscore github come back to your dashboard now here just me type cat space and paste the name of the file and then hit dot okay why dot because it's mentioned over here you can see this full stop and then hit tab button like this way so you will get full file name now hit enter button over here and once you do that you can see this is a key so just me copy all this part very carefully do not copy any extra space or do not copy any other thing okay now just me copy this come back over here and paste like this way and click on this add just me come back over here so we have done with this part also now what you do we have to add other credentials so for that just me come back over here click on this manage the inkings over here again scroll down click on this credentials again now for this time previously what we have done we have just me click on this credentials system but this time we have to click on the store scope to Jenkins. just me click on this system over here why because it's mentioned on the lab instruction page okay now just me come back click over here then click on this add credentials then click over here now what we have just created we have created the private ssh key so just me choose this option ssh username and private key like this way now for this id just me come back over here and from here you can see this id so just me copy this id do not copy the last full stop okay just me copy like this way and paste over here like this okay so it's done now now what we need we need a username just me come back over here and copy this username do not paste any username over here otherwise you will face an error now just me copy this come back and paste over here like this way okay so if we just me check over here i think i had done some kind of mistake 
that's why i'm getting error and i'm glad that i faced this kind of issues so that i can tell you what we have to do so you can see i'm getting this kind of error no need to worry i have copied all the things correctly but still getting the error just me refresh the page just me click over here just me choose this option again so it's done it's done now let me copy this thing quickly and paste over here so at this time i'm not getting an issue okay i glad that i faced that issue now copy the username also and paste over here also you can see it's done now click on this checkbox then click on this add button now for this from where we will get a key just scroll down copy this id dot github now if you just will notice previously what we have copy id underscore github dot pub this time what we are doing we are just me copying this id underscore github so just me copy this come back to your dashboard okay if you are getting this error just me press ctrl c let me just me clear all this out again type cat space and paste this name okay just me hit enter button you will get this key you can see this dash dash from here just me copy like this till this over here just me copy this way come back to your credentials and then paste over here like this way okay make sure that there is no extra space again i am saying now just me click on this create button over here so it's done also so if you just me come back so we are done with all this part now just me copy this command come back to your dashboard and paste hit enter now just me wait now you can see from this hash tool here you can see okay so this is uh, another key okay what we have to do now we have to add the security for that just me come back over here click over here now just me scroll down and where is the security here it is just me click over here now just me scroll down over here and here you have to just me search for the git host key verification from here just me choose manually provide key over here like this way and over here just me copy this key which is just copy this one from here make sure that you have to copy from this hash also okay just me copy like this way come back and paste that's it then click on the save and it's done now if we just me come back so we have done with this part also okay now what here do we have to create one new job so just me copy this thing carefully this name for your job now come back over here click on the Jenkins over here then click on this new item paste the name choose the multi branch pipeline like this way and then click on this ok wait for a second and it's done just me scroll down from here just me choose github over here like this way so it's done now you can see it's asking for the project repository for that just me come back over here and then click on this github okay then click on this default over here and i will request you please pay attention do not skip this part click on this code and then click on this ssh make sure that we have to click on this ssh button over here why if you just may come back over here and from here you can just check the format over here and this format and the ssh format is same if you do not pay attention over here you will not get a full score for sure so make sure that we have to choose the ssh now come back over here and paste over here project repository okay from here just me choose the, your username your github username that's it scroll down a little bit and from here you can see scan multi branch pipeline trigger just me click on this and from here just me choose a one minute so you are done with all these things just me click on the save if you come back over here you can see all these things are mentioned here as well so you have to click on the save now this thing is loading if you just me scroll down wait until it show as a succeed over here you can see the match is showing as a succeed once you see the message as succeed then only you can just come back over here so we are done with the task number eight now for the remaining task just me come back over here scroll down and from here you can see this command now just me copy all this command over here come back paste hit enter now we have to just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done we are done with this lab meanwhile just me come back over here just me wait for this command get execute so just me wait and watch so you can see i didn't get any kind of error now just me come back to a zenkings over here just me click on your sample app over here like this way 
and here you can see for now we are able to see only one branch but after some time you are able to see the three branches over here and once it's due you just understand that we are almost done with the lag okay now sometime what happen after running this particular command over here your Jenkins connection might be disconnect okay so no need to worry about that particular thing if you run all the commands over here and if you keep refreshing over here and if you are able to find all these three branches then you just have to wait for a couple of time after that you will able to get a full score over here you might have to wait for 5 10 or 15 minutes once you are able to find this all these branches over here the, which i want to show you you can see canary and new feature over here you can see this is showing us in red banner no need to worry we just have to focus on these two once this two showing as a green tick that's mean we are done with this lab doing all this thing if your zenkin connection get disconnect don't worry just wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a score keep refresh the page just may wait until this thing show as a green tick meanwhile what we'll do we will check the score for remaining tasks so let me just show you that so as you can see for the last three task i'm not getting a score so just may wait for this thing to get complete And as you can see, both these branches showing as a green tick. Okay, that's mean it's succeed. Now just me come back over here and just me check the score for the remaining three tasks. You will get a score over here without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, don't worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. I hope you guys like the way I solved this lab. If you still have any doubts or any questions, do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys. So please subscribe Sarakabar Sarakarai Sarakab whatever. I want to reach one million likes.